The AEM Infiniti ECU is legal in California only for racing vehicles, which may never be used upon a highway. I'm Mark Yeager, and this is my 2006 Subaru STI. Right now, we're running about 800 wheel horsepower. We do that through the use of every last modification you could do to a Subaru. Sticky tires, a lot of aerodynamics, and about as much power as we can cram in. The expansion factor to the AQ1 is just blowing up. All their gauges can be turned into their AEM net, and the AEM net allows less inputs into the data logger. So that leaves you more room for things like steering wheel inputs, throttle body inputs, ride height sensors, downforce sensors, anything you can think of. You can input that into the AQ1 and be more competitive with guys that have much larger budgets than you. We've gone from running a stock ECU with a reflash based engine management solution and moved on to an AEM Infinity really for several reasons. Logging of additional data points, especially combining engine data with chassis data, with some of the engine data sensors such as wideband, oil temp, oil pressure, sensors not provided on the car that were additional. We've added crankcase pressure. Anybody with the Subaru probably knows why you might want to do that. Separate manifold air temp sensors and intake air temp sensors for different purposes, boost control compensation versus ignition and fueling compensation, safeguards, the aforementioned oil temp, oil pressure. We're also going to be monitoring exhaust gas back pressure. Without having the data capabilities that we do because of the AEM products, we would never got there. Nowhere near being competitive in a limited class against some of the best time attack cars in the United States and the world. Our ability to change the car for many different tracks in 2016 and the resulting records that we got was based off of just data we got off the AQ1. We spent a lot of time on the analysis and I, I can't stress how much that data has helped us improve the car. Super pleased with the product, really pleased with the rapid learning curve on it, just the intuitiveness of the, so of the software and the functionality of the hardware. I mean, we were even able to largely speed up the process by taking some of the tables that I tuned, ignition tables, and really transfer those almost directly over from the previous reflash software right into the AEM uh, mapping. And first hit, a couple percent off here or there, but incredibly close, and car ran flawlessly. So really kudos to AEM. Thank you for supporting us with the wonderful product, and uh, we couldn't be happier to move forward, uh, tack some more records, make some more power, and have some fun at it. For more information, visit aemelectronics.com.